Hello everyone, and welcome or welcome back to Minecraft 1.16 Survival with me, Limbrin. We are, of course, now in 1.17, but unlike previous episodes, this episode we are not going to be working in the 1.17 outpost. I guess the last episode we didn't either, but anyway, in today's episode, we're going to be going kind of back to our roots in Turtle Keep, because I just kind of had an itch to do some uh, medieval town building. So we're going to start off today's episode by planning out a couple buildings, like probably a church up here and also maybe a blacksmith somewhere. <laughs> Actually, before I plan out anything, this thing is very in the way of, well, kind of everything because this is going to be a little courtyard area. So let's get rid of that real quick. Sick. Now I can actually get to work. Okay, so I've done a little bit of planning. I made just a general outline of a church. We kind of have this L shape and then a circular cir circular area over here that I think will probably um, be, you know, a tower because I feel like churches tend to have those. Uh, the entrance is going to be right here. And yeah, it's a very rough outline, but we have a church over here. I've decided we're going to have, have like a little path that goes up and around to over in this area. And then down here, I want to have a market because I feel like Turtle Keep kind of needs to have somewhere for people that um, come in to like buy stuff and things like that. You know, now that Black Keep is destroyed, they're probably getting a lot more like trade. So we're going to put a market here, but let's start with uh, the church. Okay, so I have fledged out the walls a little bit more. I put, you know, my favorite uh, moss gradient on them. And this part's a little shorter because it's going to be different. And also I marked out the door with these little pillars. It's going to be, you know, here. I'm thinking I'm going to do a little um, roof. What's the, like, triangle roof called? I learned its name at one point. It's not a hip roof. Either way, it's, that's going to have like a very tiny little roof on it, I'm thinking. And then this part I want to build up more to have a kind of steep triangle. And then actually in here there will be a kind of like altar maybe on this wall. And then um, just rows of seats where people can, you know, sit and um, pray pretty much. And that's what that section is going to be. And over here is going to be the tower. I still haven't entirely decided how I want to continue that section, but let's keep going. I have indeed kept going. In fact, I did a little bit more than I planned to. I just didn't really do a progress report. Well, I finished um, all the like basics of the exterior. We have the prayer hall has, you know, this roof and a cute little window. And then this part ended up being just like tall for some reason, but I put another gable roof on it with a cute little window that you can't really see. And then I figured out kind of what I want to do with the tower. It turned more into a little bit of a spire, so I just kind of added some slopes to it. And I'd say it looks pretty good. I also had a little roof line to the door, which I would say also looks great. The only part that I am a little unsure about, and I also do like this pretty much, it's growing on me the more I look at it, is this weird little back area, um, as I couldn't decide how to fix the curve that I had put into a church, because, well, churches don't have curves, so I just kind of put this little, like, patio thing out, uh, here. I'm gonna put a door to it, like, in there or something, and maybe there'll be a little, um, like, overlook to the prayer area, maybe this is where, like, the mayor goes or something, because classism and such. But yeah, I'd say this looks really good, but before I get to the interior, the exterior still needs a lot of detailing, so let's do that. A wandering trader has just come by. I haven't done anything yet, but a wandering trader has just come by and he has, like, fun things. I think I want to buy some of these because I may make, like, a bakery at some point. I could put, like, little cinnamon buns in it. Oh, that's going to be so cool. Okay, I need to trap this guy in a hole and hope he doesn't despawn while I go grab my emeralds. No, 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 I think he managed to not fall. I forgot there's a non-functional iron farm underneath my base. Um, that could that could have ended a lot worse. And also, I'm not okay. Yes, there we go. Okay, the the, the recording is probably terrible because my game's lagging, which means the recording is even worse. 
Okay, give me that one dirt. Patch up that hole, and I guess I'll just kind of try and get it. Okay, do you want to go over here, and then I can just, like, you go stand in that. No, you're going to try and jump up the trap doors. What are you... Stop it. Oh my god, I actually got him. Okay. Oh, it's surprise black screen land time. What happened? Well, this time, uh, the recording overloaded. It is a thing that happens occasionally where nothing I do changes and my recording software just says that it doesn't want to work anymore. So the next five seconds of clip are kind of just frozen and bad. Um, but you didn't really miss much. I kind of just grabbed my emeralds and made my way back to the trader. Okay, I got the emeralds and the blocks. Okay, since so I thought he despawned. Um, give me all the ancient debris. Oh, it gives you eight for just one. I see. Um, I only actually got Ancient Debris and Emerald Blocks, because they're the only two that I actually have an idea for using. I thought about getting the Flowering Azaleas, and I might actually go ahead and just do that, because I happen to have some of these bushes on me, and also Bone Meal. The only problem is... Oh wait, if I mine this with Silk Touch. Yeah, sick. Okay, that was really easy, so I'll just do that one as well. Assume good. I th thought he despawned again. There we go. So we got some Mini Blocks. Sick. Uh, these are from a data pack I have. Uh, yeah. So, they're pretty cool. And now I have this tree that I'll get rid of at some point. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the exterior of the church, because I want to finish that up so I can actually work on the interior, which is where all the really cool detailing comes in. Well, it certainly still needs some work, but I have added a decent bit of exterior detail, so I um, added this little fenced-in area with, you know, some nice little seats that you could sit in. Um, I just outside the church for some reason. They could like go in and do whatever you're doing there. I also added some little um, pillars in this one because I thought this looked a little bland, but I didn't really know what else to put there. And of course, I have added the requisite um, bushes that go everywhere in Turtle Keep because why wouldn't I? And then there's only really like one place that I really haven't finished. It's just... Meh. That, that wall needs something, but I'm going to wait to do that until I do the interior, because it's probably going to be, like, windows and stuff, and I don't want to um, run into the problem of putting a window where there's not actually a really great place for a window, because I've already done that once if we um, hop on inside of the church. <laughs> That's not even the entrance. <laughs> we'll see that there's this window. It's not the biggest problem, but it's kind of a problem. You see, the floor is going to be here, right? We're going to have a floor, like, on this level. And then the ceiling is probably going to be, like, in one of those two blocks, probably um, there, right? Because that, that leaves, like, you know, a four-tall room. That's pretty reasonable. It's going to be higher in that room, but in this room, it's going to be four blocks tall. That puts the ceiling right about in the window. So that's kind of a problem. Um, and I don't want to encounter that problem again. So I'm going to wait to fix this wall until I actually do the interior, which is the next step. So let's get some interior walls in and then we can start decorating. Not only have I done all of the interior walls, I've also done the roofing and the flooring of every room. So we kind of have this first room that you come into, which I want to say is like the atrium where you could sit on like a bench here and wait for something. I don't know what you would wait for because I feel like you'd kind of just go in here and sit in this room to wait for whatever event there is to start, but you could sit in here and wait to go sit in here and wait for the event to start. Um, so yeah, that's this room. And then of course we have the hall, which has a little exit to where the graveyard's going to be. And this is, you know, where all of the church events would be held probably. So yeah, I've never been to church. I don't know what they do at church other than prayer. Um, and on the other side of the atrium, we have this little circular room that I decided to make for some reason. This is going to have a staircase in it. That's the extent of my plan for it. I don't even know where the staircase is going to go. I was thinking this corner, but that doesn't really work with the second floor that well. Speaking of the second floor, it doesn't actually have an entrance. You just have to fly onto the roof and go in through this way. And we have two rooms up here. One is the top of the staircase room, and the, that corner is, like, way in there. 
because the roof slants a lot, so I really don't know where the staircase is going to come up, but I'll figure that out later. And then you have this weird little room with two windows that look kind of ugly right now. And also, the stupid window. Look how stupid it is. If you ever find this in a house, the architect didn't do a good job. <laughs> but I don't know what I'm going to put in this room either. Maybe we'll be the place where you go and do, like, confessions. Um, but then again, I don't think that's really part of their religion. So I don't know what's going to be in this room. I was thinking maybe it's like a bedroom for the priest, but he would, he or she would probably just, like, live in a separate house. Either way, we have this room, and then this, of course, has the exit over to the, like, weird patio area and then this is going to have an entrance into a little place where you can overlook the prayer hall because I feel like having something up here I feel like the room would kind of look blank if there's nothing up in the roof so yeah let's fill in this interior with some furniture and some lamps and probably other stuff although I think furniture and lamps kind of encapsulates everything you'd put in an interior in fact I think lamps is a subset of furniture so you don't really even need that in there uh, but anyway let's Let's do the interior. <laughs> and just like that, the interior of the church is complete. I have decorated every single room to the best of my ability. Some parts of it aren't quite done, but we'll get to that later, because we're starting here in the little atrium where you can, of course, wait on this amazing little bench. And I put a lot of uh, flowering azalea bushes in this place. They don't really, like, fit the rest of Turtle Keep, where I've used dark oak bushes, but I think they still look pretty good, so I decided to use them, mostly because they're 1.17 blocks. And then, of course, we have the staircase room, which ended up being literally just a ladder, with the best potted plant in the entire game. Look how cute it is. I love this thing. I kind of wanted to use this a couple episodes ago, but I didn't have any um, pots, and now I have pots, so I can have this potted plant. I love these things so much. Of course, we have jukeboxes, because jukeboxes are cool, and the best table I have ever made. You can sit on it, talk to whoever you were talking to, you know, I don't really know who you would be talking to, but you know, once you get out, it just breaks the chairs. It's great. Um, it really annoys me that I couldn't figure out a way to fix that, but it's fine. And then, of course, we can head up the staircase, which is kind of janky. Um, you have to shift to actually get through the top of it, um, but other than that, it's fine. I couldn't really find a better place to put it, so it's just staying there. Then up here we have the study of, like, the priest or whatever who sleeps over there in his bedroom, and we have a blank lectern, because, um, what else would you have in a study? And then this, the bedroom, have some windows. I'm not entirely sure about these things. They look fine, I think, but they could definitely be better. And then if we head out onto the patio, we can go into the little mayor's seating place for, um, the prayer, prayer, praying for the praying, because, <laughs> um, you know, classism, as I mentioned earlier, and this is actually my favorite little part of the build. We have tiny little lanterns here, and it just seems really cozy to me. Um, but if we head down here onto the altar, this is where the priest would stand, and we have lots and lots of pews, and I have this little fence gate thing that I really like, because there's not room to put, like, a sign on both of them, but you can kind of do this, and it works pretty well, I think. And then we have, you know, some bookshelves, another jukebox, and some paintings in here. It's kind of just generally decorated. There isn't anything super specific, and that's the entirety of the interior, but there are actually a couple things that I'm still not entirely sure I'm done with. The first two are actually outside, and that is this area, because it's just kind of bland. I want to put, like, a table here or something. And, of course, uh, the wall that I never finished, because it, it's still really blank. Well, that wall is no longer really blank. I just connected the roof line, because that's apparently a thing that, um is done on some places, as in a lot of them in my neighborhood have connected roof lines, even though it looks kind of weird. But it kind of splits up the wall a little. I'd still like that to be a little more detailed, because it's still a little bland. But it's good enough that I'm willing to, like, leave it, um, I would say for now, but I'm not going to come back to this project and fix that later, so leave it forever. I also, um, can't fly properly, but I did a little bit of work on this roof. I just added some flowers. I was going to put, like, a table here, but because it's slabs, it's actually really kind of difficult to get a table in here with, like, chairs and stuff, so I just put down some flowers. I think it looks pretty good. Um, other than that, yeah, that's, that's the church done, I guess. I mean, I don't, yeah, I always am kind of, like, shocked when I finish a project, because I've been working on it for, like, several days, and then it's just suddenly kind of done. I haven't done the graveyard, but, like, truthfully, I think these people burn their dead. They don't bury them, so... Um, I'm not gonna do a graveyard. 
so I guess we're gonna end it here. This video is a little short, but um, I've finished everything I want to do in it, so we're just gonna end it now. So, for now, <laughs> like if you liked it, subscribe if you like it, have a great day, and as always, I don't no, take off the helmet. Bye-bye. <laughs>